Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. So today I'm going to be canning beans. I'll try to let you know what it is that I'm doing because it's not really like a full tutorial of canning beans, but I'm going to be canning beans while we talk about something else. If you do want a full extensive tutorial on how to pressure can beans, I will put the I card either here or here. All right, so, um, um, I have a pint here and for each pint I'm going to be adding a half a cup of beans to that pint. Now, there has been so much going on in the world today and without getting into specifics, I do know that there is a lot of fear going around. And I'm not trying to say that people don't have a right to that fear. I, I get it. I, I have fears myself. It's just that I feel like lately it's sort of taking over my life and also really taking over a lot of other people's thoughts and um, their stress levels are going up super high. Anxiety is going up super high. And we all deal with it in a certain way. And I don't know, um, but like, if there's anything I can do or say to help reduce those fears and anxiety, I know it works for me and I just want to pass it along to you. Well, um, the number one thing I've been trying to do, um, well, I haven't been successful at it yet, but what the number one thing I think that I really need to try to do is to not feed my fears so much with social media. Um, it's honestly just sort of um, taking a break and not feeding it as much as I have been because I can honestly watch the news all day. I can watch uh, reels all day um, and it's just not healthy for me and I don't think it's healthy for anybody who gets super, super fired up about these things because I, I get fired up as well. No matter which way you sway, you're gonna get fired up. Um, I think that's been pretty evident um, in this time and um, also with, you know, the different wars, you know, going on, that's been very, I mean, it's, it's just a lot, a lot, a lot to have on our plate all day, every day. And what I wanted to tell you is that that's just not something that we are meant to carry. Um, and I am going to talk about God here. And if that's something that you don't like, you could just, you know, bypass this video or whatever. But I'm here to tell you what's helped me. So I'm going to do a different bean now. I'm going to go with small red kidney beans. Do a half a cup of that um, in my pint. But, you know, I was thinking the other day and I was praying. I was like, Lord, you know what? This is not meant for me to carry. I cannot carry the, the weariness of this world because it feels like that. It's so burdensome and it weighs me down and I get depressed and I just get so sad and I get so worried and you know I just you know you know you realized I have to keep reminding myself and realize that you know um we believe in God and we believe that Jesus Christ you know is the son of God and that he's the one who bore all those things you know um, for us through the cross through the cross um, and it does comfort me, um, but it's hard sometimes because I'm just like, Lord, we live here. This is the reality that we're in. You know, we're so uncertain of the future and, you know, what do I, what do I do with that? Um, and I just think that, you know, the Lord knows the outcome of everything and you actually have to believe it. You have to believe the word. You have to believe the truth and actually have faith in it and have peace in that faith. 
um, because if not, then we're just gonna keep spiraling into the worry and all that other stuff and we're not necessarily really trusting the Lord. So um, I just, you know, continually have to bring myself to that point um, and, and trust in that because it just has been wearing on me. The other thing is that I would tell you to try to stray away from anybody who is doing extreme fear mongering. Um, that's not something that you need in your life. No matter what is going on, no matter where you're at in life, no matter what you believe, it's never healthy to run to um, people or social medias that are doing ex extreme fear mongering. You don't need that in your life. You know, life is so hard without adding to it. Um, and you just don't need that heaviness in your life. So, you know, definitely try to work on your peace in this time. Um, for me, I just, I pray and I trust in God and I have to believe in that, you know? Um, and try to fill your life with good things and also remember, just try to remember how blessed you really truly are. I saw a show the other day and I was telling this to a friend that, um, do I have any more garbanzo beans? Maybe this might be a half a cup. That a girl, she got into a severe car accident when she was 13 years old and um, it affected her eye where she couldn't, she couldn't close her eye for eight years. And because she couldn't close her eye, it caused severe um, conjunctivitis, conjunctivitis, which I believe is um, pink eye, actually. Um, and, you know, because the eye was always open, the eye was always exposed, the eye was always tearing, and it was always severely red. So for eight years, she just could not close this eye. Well, she ended up getting um, extens an extensive surgery on the eye, and um, the surgery was very successful, um, and she was able to actually close her eye after the surgery. Well, one of the things that she had said was that immediately afterward, she was able to fall asleep and close her eyes and actually stay asleep. And her mother thought that there was something wrong because she didn't get up, because for eight years, she had been restless in her sleep. And um, she just said she fell asleep and it was the hardest, like hardest as far as like falling asleep, hard sleep and deep sleep that she had ever had in like the longest time. And I just remember at that moment thinking, wow, God, you know, forgive me for even wanting more in life. Forgive me for um, not being content with things. Forgive me for wrestling so much with fear and anxiety when we truly should be focusing on things that we are so blessed with and so fortunate to have. Thank God we can close our eyes. I'm sure the majority of people who are watching can close their eyes. You know, thank God that, you know, um, we have, well, I, I'll, I'll speak for myself. Thank God I have a place to live, you know, and everybody's blessing is completely different. Sure, we all want more. Sure, there's all these Americanized, um, what was I saying that saying the other day? Americanized success. Um, American dream? The American dream, but I believe that that's different for everybody. I don't believe that, um, anybody should sort of dictate what your success and what your dream looks like because success is completely individual. Um, for, for me, you know, um, just being able to have, to work at home and, you know, my YouTube channel isn't like a huge channel and that's really okay. Like, I don't have these aspirations to go and have like 1 million followers. It never was that for me. For me, it was just like being able to build a community 
being able to stay home with my daughter and that's successful and that may not be successful for other people and I wasn't trying to get in about me but I was just talking about like what success is to an individual so that looks different for all of us and if you can you know if you can believe that and rest in that then you will have so much peace and knowing that you don't have to fall under the umbrella of what the America hat is, you know, what your status should be, what you should have, what your home should look like, what kind of car you should be driving, you know, um, all those things. Success is completely individual, you know, and then, you know, I challenge you and you know, where, where does your happiness lie? Where does it lie truly? Is it in the things that we have? Is it in your career? Is it, you know, in these um, things that quite honestly are replaceable? So I, I challenge you to focus on the things that are irreplaceable, like your family, like um, the friendships, like um, a community of people, um, your health, you know, if you have that, um, your life, your life, the fact that you woke up today, um, life is such a, such a beautiful gift. And the fact that you were able to get to wake up, I think is just an amazing, beautiful thing because you're so worthy of life and so worthy of living and just you're beautiful and wonderful and, and I believe that every single one of you are God's creation and just the image of God. And I think that that's so beautiful. So life is definitely worth living. Um, I hope I'm not rambling on here. What should I, uh, should I do? I've garbanzos, I've got small reds. Should I do some black beans? Yes. Yes? Okay, we'll do some black beans. Um, so yeah. There's that. So I'm going to do some black beans here. These are tiny. These are really tiny. Okay. All right, so I hope I've encouraged you um, with that talk. This next part of the video is just gonna, I want you guys to just relax. If you wanna watch it, great. If you don't, that's fine. I'm just gonna be canning and have some um, cheesy Christian music in the back uh, because it's the only music I can get that is not copyrighted. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to deal with it, okay? That's all I can give you and some verses.
great. So the beans are finished. We processed them at um, 75 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure from zero to a thousand feet. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, that it brings you peace and uh, challenges you on where to place your value. And um, I guess that's it. As always, take care and God bless.